Hey everyone, hope you're well today. My name's Jason and welcome to my channel. So uh, today I'm going to be going through how you create either a buy it now or an add to cart button. It's pretty simple. I um, hope this is helpful to you. If it is, please consider subscribing to my channel and give it a big thumbs up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go to paypal.com. Mine is IE because I'm in Ireland. Okay, so I'll click login. So enter your email address and your password. So it's going to send me a text message. So apologies, this can be a little bit slow. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds. And it is in. So, okay, so we're logging into our account. One caveat on this as well, you must have a PayPal business account. I've tried to do this on my personal account. It does not work. So make sure you're logging into a PayPal business account if you want to create buttons, okay? So in here, we'll see our main dashboard. I have 142 euro left. This, um, when I moved to manage payments for eBay, I left the balance in here to cover any kind of refund of that. So far, I haven't had any. So I'm just leaving that in there now, just in case. So up in the top bar here, go to pay and get paid. Then go down to, apologies, go down to PayPal buttons, click on that. Now in here, we're, we have a range of options. You can have smart buttons, you can have a subscription service, you can donate for charity. Um, we're interested in these two here. So we can do both of these in either one, so it doesn't matter. So let's just click on buy it now. My internet seems to be running a little bit slowly today, but anyway, here, you're brought to this screen. So in here, as I said, you have the option of choosing which button you want. Uh, the nice thing about the shopping cart today is people can view their shopping cart, so they can add multiple items to it and that. So often I use, you know, shopping cart rather than buy it now but then i might have a buy it now button in certain places where you want people to jump in so let's go with buy it now as we're here so let's call this test buy so this item id so what is this this is something you can assign as an id to make it you know unique for tracking purposes i'd normally put in a SKU number for a product uh, for now we're just going to leave it blank this doesn't really matter so we can pick any price we can also pick any currency we want as this is a test buy it's not that relevant Okay, so what else have we here? We've add drop down menus with price. So this is a nice little option. So we'll say whatever we're selling here, we want a red option, which is 50 euro. We want a blue option, which is 60 euro. And we want a green option, which is 30 euro. So we can add all of these in here. We can add more options. Again, we can select the currency, which is nice. If, if that's helpful for your product, if you have variations in it. Next one is we can add a drop down menu where all of the prices are the same as up here. So for 50 euro, we can have, you know, red, green, blue, whatever, that's that's fine. And in here, we can have a custom text field option. I have never personally used this one myself. Um, so you can add in here whatever you like. So and then just click done. It'll create it with your name or your description on it. Down here, we've got our shipping amount. So you can put in whatever you like if there's a certain amount of shipping, if you're charging whatever the courier charges in my case i'm just going to put zero here then here is your tax rate so this is for vat or sales tax or gst depending on what region you're in and um, you can also use your merchant id to get paid or your email address to me they're both the same i just use my merchant id then click create button and here we go so this is your code you need to add to your website or your blog or whatever you're creating so once you add this in it'll create a buy it now button as well and you're good to go there's also an e in here an email for options oh, sorry an option for emails i should say i said that wrongly so you can copy this and you can email this to someone and then they can use it to pay directly they can and um, if you've made an error when you created this like on the price or anything like that down here you can go to go to my saved buttons and in here you can see all of your buttons that you've created you have so our one is on top here so then all you need to do is go over to actions then you can edit your button you can view the code if you you know you want to add it again later at a later time you can create a similar button where it'll just create a lot of the same details and you won't have to go back into your input all the information in my case i'm going to delete the button here simply because it's only a test so delete button so it just tells me it can't be undone it's asked me am i sure i want to permanently delete this you know it'll create problems if I've already added it to websites so I'm just going to say yes because I haven't added it to anything and that's it so I hope you found this tutorial helpful and um, if it was please give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them and lastly please subscribe to the channel thank you and have a good day bye